Hey everybody, this is Felicia and I am here with another layout. Working on getting these challenges done that Victoria Marie has put out in her, uh, the Victoria Marie Facebook group. And I've been having a ball doing this, by the way, because this is the most I've scrapped in the last six months. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to talk about these photos. These are black and whites from a long time ago and I was going to be doing some modeling and some commercials and stuff like that and so what I had to do was go get this portfolio made and get all these snapshots done of myself. Well at the time it was $300 and that was a lot of money <laughs> back then when I um, uh, had this work done and I was like it's worth it you know hey I'm going to be doing commercials blah 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 and I did one runway just one and I did um, one little short little just like little fashion model thing and I didn't like it modeling is definitely something that you have to actually have passion for or that you don't have you, you in other words you don't have to have any modesty for it let's just say that because you're undressing and dressing in front of people and your body parts are hanging out and a lot of times when they model, they don't have any underwear on underneath those clothes anyway. And I know that's kind of <laughs> too much information, but I am not one to want to do that. So I'm good. <laughs> but the little short period of time that I did do um, some of that modeling, I guess, or whatever at the time, I it was fun for me. Anyway, so enough about that. I am going to discuss um i should basically discuss uh this journaling i guess the journaling part of the whole thing um journaling to me comes easy um it always has i've always been i've always liked to write and i've always liked to either print type handwrite it didn't really matter um i am a storyteller verbal um verbal storyteller and i am also a um you know, a writing storyteller. So the thing is though, is that I am, my major at here at the Sac State is anthropology and it, and it includes a lot of ethnography. Um, and it includes a lot of uh, writing and reading and things like that as well. So, but I've always been that way. And so journaling for me comes pretty easy and I like to journal on my layouts and just to get it, you know, get it done and everything and, and, and have something to say. You Sometimes you don't even need a whole thing like I'm going to put on this layout to say. Sometimes you just need a sentence or two. I mean, that's still journaling. So I really enjoy doing that and I enjoy um, getting these layouts together and telling the stories about the photos because that's what counts. That's what counts. Anyway, so um, this collection, oh my gosh, this I, I think it's Moonstruck, if I'm not mistaken. And I've had this collection for a, a while now. And I love the colors in this. Oh my gosh, I thought this would be the perfect thing because those photos are black and white to do um, this layout on. And, and I was right because this is beautiful. This, this paper is just beautiful. And so what I did was I trimmed up you know i use one of my um trimmers there to make that design um one of my um what you would call this there my punches and i i also used um a lot of stuff that i would not normally use on this layout um and i just had a great time doing this i really don't have too much anything you know bad or anything like that to say about it but i am really really glad that i decided to go ahead and, and do this challenges and things like that um, for the Victoria Marie Facebook group. It was, it was fun. It's been fun. And I've been at home. And it's been kind of weird because I've been at home. And I mean, this is the most time I've actually been in the house. Um, and I have to say, I do miss walking on campus. I do miss meeting my, you know, saying hi to my schoolmates and talking and working together in the classrooms and stuff like that. I miss all of that. Um, and it's only been about a two weeks for us here uh, that we've had no school in progress. And it's just been kind of weird, like, you know, but that's something that we just have to get used to and get over. So, yeah, unfortunately, um, it's just been kind of interesting being at home. That's all I have to say. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. What else can I talk about? Uh, I can talk about a lot of stuff, really, to be honest with you. But at this point in time, there's so much stuff that I don't, I don't know where to start and where to, you know, really um, start with this conversation. Except for this, I'm so sick of hearing about this virus and then the hand washing and all that thing. You know, that's what I could talk about. I could talk about the fact that. I was brought up washing my hands. My hand, I mean, we could not, I mean, when we came in the house from outside playing, that was the first thing my, my mom would just get in our case, wash your hands, and my grandmother too, wash your hands. Before we ate dinner, wash your hands. You know, after you go use the bathroom, wash your hands. Stop picking your nose, go wash your hands. You know, things like that. I, I was brought up with that training. So I don't understand and correct me if I'm wrong, why people are thinking that this hand washing thing is a new thing. Some people literally are thinking that way. And it's shocking me and surprising me on their, their, the way they're thinking about this when this is something that should have been ingrained from, from when you were growing up as a child. For, I mean, you know, turn your head when you cough, cover, cover your mouth when you cough, cover your mouth when you sneeze, turn your head when you sneeze, you know, and, and if you sneeze in your hands, go wash your hands, you know, things like that. I was already bought up with that kind of stuff. So I don't understand, to be honest with you, you know, I just don't get it. I mean, people, what do people do? They forget how to be clean and forget, you know, it's a little frustrating for me. So because it's like this isn't new and I've been using hand sanitizer for years I mean good grief this is not new for me either so um I don't know it's just weird this is all this is all just weird and it's just not making too much any sense anymore and I'm sick and tired of hearing it I you know we I had a doctor's appointment and I'm driving we're driving on the freeway and I see a sign that says clean hands is means healthy I'm like well wait a minute here we all know this. Hello, some of us should already know this. And if those who don't, shame on you, honestly. Be honest with you, shame. So um, that's my opinion. And I know people don't like op other people's opinions sometimes, but that's mine. So, hey. And I just, I just will be glad when, you know, people come to realize that, you know, this hopefully this helps people actually hopefully this trains people to realize how important it is to be clean and to keep their hands clean um so i don't know we'll see we'll find out after this is over with i can't wait for the summer to get here <laughs> i've always complained about how hot it is i will be so glad when it gets here this year so it will be no complaints coming for me um so let's see i i think i was supposed to be talking about this collection yeah i think I'm... <laughs> yeah i think i better stick on talking about this collection but this collection is called moonstruck by pink paisley and i've had it in my you know possession here for a while and because of school i really hadn't been able to scrap i don't i i love to scrap and the, but now that everything and all my classes have been moved online um I will definitely have some more time to scrap. Um, I won't be traveling, but of course, because you know, you'll be at home. And um, this helps out quite a bit because, because I'll be able to, you know, scrap now. And also too, I still have to keep a relatively good schedule. And that's what I'm working on um, when spring break gets here, which is next week. <laughs> And so I'll be working on um, getting me a schedule together. So, I'll, you know, I'll be regim you know, be in a good place there as far as my schoolwork, because it's easy to, to just do it whenever you feel like it. And you can still fall behind even with it being online. So um, that's definitely one of the things that I want to make sure that I keep up with as far as, you know, keeping myself on a schedule is um, with my schoolwork and things being, a, being as it is online. So... I think um, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really have too much to really talk about except the fact that <laughs> it does feel a little isolating being at home. And luckily my mom lives really close because I can actually go see her. So we kind of pop in and out of each other's um, houses here because we're back and forth and stuff like that. And, you know, good thing she does live close. So, and I really appreciate that fact. And I'm glad that that's, you know, you know, well, something that I can, um, you know, if, if she needs anything, I can go and help her with or something like that. Now, my kids, on the other hand, 
Oh, my kids, well, my children, they live separately. So um, one of them lives in the Bay Area, one lives in Sac, and one lives in um, um, Southern California. So, yeah, <laughs> that's, it's different with them, but they'll be all right. They can, they can handle it. They've been trained to to know how to handle things like this and stuff, so... And I, and I get, you know, we talk. All righty. I think I am done with this layout here. I have everything done. I'm just putting the last minute touches on there and I'm done. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to tune in because I have more videos to come. Take care guys. Have a great and wonderful scrappy week.